is good, my very pink. What is good, yo? I didn't plan this out, but it's happening. Um, I feel like everybody who was watching this week's episode of Heroes was got like super debated, like absolutely ridiculously debated, and it sucks. And at the same time. It's kind of obvious that it could happen, you know, this show being something that they need to, like, really hold down in the case of not going full out and blowing their load on just the quickest content possible. When they have all this time, they can, like, really plan out all of their, uh, you know, extra, extra stuff for, you know... Mirzamasu was easy to get rid of. Oops, I didn't mean to spark the hell. Um, another person who was easy to get rid of is, you know, any of the real, like, bad people that didn't seemingly have that much of a role. Um, as, like, the people who pretty much nurtured the seed of, uh, the universe seed. They weren't, they weren't useful anymore, you know, so as soon as they were done with, and God, he has the worst triangle ever, um, but because they got absolutely destroyed, it goes to show you, like, how quickly certain characters can be removed from heroes very fast, um, and I pretty much called it last week with how they treated, uh, hitting them, hit didn't do anything, and Jiren didn't do anything, um, just felt pretty lackluster when you come down to what was kind of promised and what was being talked up, and then all we get is a quick look at, uh, Gogeta, and literally it just kind of cuts blank after that, right, like, there was nothing really to be that excited about, and I don't know, it felt... Uh, it felt really quick because that's something that was relatively brought up. Um, you can't be like, oh yeah, Gogeta's gonna make his appearance, and then when he makes his appearance, the, sh- the episode literally ends and nothing happens, right? Like, you literally can't do anything because he shows up that late in the show. Uh, not to mention the characters talking about, we should go and buy them some time, but by the time they say that the fusion's already going, and Hearts doesn't care that much about uh, them fusing, right? Like, them fusing doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Um, So because of that, I don't know, it leads me to believe that why, why stop something you're not really afraid of, you know, like, nothing, nothing they can do at this point feels like they can really change the tide, so why not focus on just having fun, that's how I feel Hearts is playing this off, uh, not only that, we're looking towards, uh, the end of maybe Heroes animation, hopefully at any time, so we can actually get super, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if Sooner or later, we see that, uh, you know, the disc comes to an abrupt end. We see a big battle, and then boom, bam, it just kind of comes to its conclusion. Uh, but overall, I hope you guys are definitely looking forward to Gogeta SS Blue. But the weird thing about it is they're kind of canonizing how ridiculously strong Gogeta could be. Um, I mean,. I understand it's from the movie and all, but to give him a feat bigger than Ultra Instinct or something along those lines is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Or, you know, something along as um, saving Zeno and saving the Grand Prix from inevitable death because we know this guy's strong enough to maybe do something like that. So, we'll see how it all turns out. Hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. When you're watching this, I will, um, I'm not sure what I'll be dropping after this, because Heroes comes out at such a random time, so I just thought I'd get this out now, 
than later because you know how it is. You, all of a sudden you think you have time and then time slips away so quickly. So I just wanted to make sure this was done and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. So with that, peace. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, nope. Save me.